A recent trend that I've noticed is that more and more e-commerce sellers are opening multiple Shopify stores. Now, they're also probably selling products on Amazon and running ads on a variety of platforms, most commonly Meta Ads, Google Ads, TikTok, and Amazon PPC. Now, it's easy to understand why brands are doing this, right? The more sales channels that you have, the higher your revenue is going to be all else equal. But this does come with a cost at the same time, right? You have to manage logins for all of your stores and all your ad platforms. You have to monitor them separately. You get these data silos, essentially. And that is one big frustrating and annoying headache when it comes to reporting and analytics, especially as your brands start to gain traction and your store grows. So today I wanna to show you how you can easily monitor and manage multiple shops from one dashboard using something called the Boardroom app, which I've been developing with a small team for the last four years or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink myself down so you can see a little better here. And let's take a look at Boardroom. So the first thing you'll notice is that I do have multiple stores already connected here into this dashboard. You can see my total revenue in the aggregate, you can also see individual sales from two Shopify stores and the Amazon Seller Central account as well. You can see here I've got ad spend pulled in. We'll look at that in greater detail in a minute. And then we have some metrics over here on the right. But what I wanna show you first is that you can actually sync a new store into this dashboard extremely easily. So all I'm gonna do is click this actions button, then sync a store. I'm gonna choose Shopify for this example. I'm gonna paste in my Shopify URL and add a brand name for sorting and filtering the data later. Let's call this um, Chuck's Electronic Store. I'll click Next. Now I'm directed into Shopify where I just install the Boardroom app with a single click. Familiar process if you use Shopify. Shopify is work working its magic in the background and boom, I'm redirected back into Boardroom and we can actually see that that new electronic store is visible here, though it says $0 for now. But Boardroom tells me that they're uploading my data and they'll send me an email once it's done. So depending on the size of the store, it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a few hours for your data to sync. But it's really that simple. Just a few clicks and you get a new store that's pulled into the dashboard. I can filter down to look at multiple brands at a sync at one time or all brands at the same time or a single brand so you get a lot of flexibility here with um, what you can see and do inside the dashboard okay so that's pretty cool but now i want to show you the advertising part of this as well so i'm going to click view insights here under the ad spend widget so i'm taken to this advertising analytics page here in boardroom and on this page i can very easily kind of compare the performance of my ad platforms and campaigns in a dashboard and interface that's a little bit easier to navigate and digest when compared to say the, the Google and Facebook ads dashboards. So this is pretty nice, uh, but what I wanna show you again is that I can very easily connect a brand new advertising account here just by clicking this button, sync new ad account, and then I can choose from these you know four most commonly used platforms that we integrate with. And uh, in this example, I'll choose Meta or Facebook and Instagram. I'll choose one of my stores. And so this is going to tie that advertising data back to the e-commerce store just for reporting purposes. And I'll click start integration. I'm directed to Facebook where I can select that option to grant boardroom access. And then I can choose from my list of Facebook ads accounts. I'll choose this one and click submit. And again, it's that easy. We can get, see that I get another message from Boardroom saying that we're syncing my advertising account data this time, and I'll get an email once it's done. So once again, it usually takes a couple of hours at the most for that advertising data to get pulled into Boardroom, which is pretty cool. Now, since we've got all that data from these multiple stores in one place, there's a lot that Boardroom does under the hood with that data to help you make better data-driven decisions at your business. So just to give you an example, Here's our overview page in Boardroom. This is kind of our core KPI page. You can actually make this your default login screen if you're really a data junkie and you wanna see all of this up front. But there's a lot here. You can also create a customized report that gets sent out to your email, which is super useful. And you can customize this page 
you know, rearranging the widgets and hiding things you don't care about. So really this lets you kind of take control. And one thing I didn't mention is that you can also link your Google Analytics accounts here. So you, you can see that I've got session data so I can track my traffic inside of Boardroom as well. Another example is that we have an inventory analytics page here where Boardroom highlights my fastest and slowest selling products. I can see when things are likely to go out of stock and I get this nice grid here showing tons of detail about all of my inventory. So that's one example. Another one that I really like is our customer tool in Boardroom. We have a segmentation tool and uh, this automatically puts your customers into meaningful buckets like repeat buyers, right? People who have bought from you multiple times. That's a useful thing to know. You could maybe target them with a special email campaign, for example. So Boredom kind of surfaces insights like this all throughout the app. And we could spend a long time kind of going through these if we wanted to. I'll just show you one more that I really like, which is our customer heat map. This shows you kind of the location data as to where your customers are physically located. So you can see little green dots here. This has just some test data, but in your account, I hope that this map would be lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, we give you things like your top five cities, you know, what day of the week that your, your products are typically selling. All this is useful information for things like your advertising uh, targeting systems and your email marketing and, and SMS marketing and things like that. All right, so we've really just scratched the surface when it comes to boardroom. There is a ton going on beneath the surface here. Uh, like our AI-powered content creation and SEO features. If you're interested in learning more about what the app offers, then I'd encourage you to go check out some of the other videos on our channel. But I wanted to keep this one short and sweet because the focus of it really is if you're a multi-shop manager, whether you have multiple brands that you personally own or maybe you're a marketing agency that has a bunch of clients who you create content for or run ads for, this is a great way, in my opinion, and I am biased, I know, to manage and monitor and report on all of those stores from one place. So all of that, and I think you'll find that the pricing is very reasonable. Uh, plus, you can try out Boardroom for uh, seven days with no commitments. And uh, yeah, just, just see if you, if you like it. See if it adds value to what you're doing. And uh, if you like this content, if you like what we're up to at Boardroom, please do like, share, and comment on the video goes a long way uh, to helping us kind of boost awareness about this, this product. And you know, we're excited to get the word out. So if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name is Charlie and I'm actually the creator and owner of this app Boardroom. So take care, see you in the next one.